Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. And in this week's video, we are gonna be continuing with our bathroom project. Now, the little elves have been in the night when uh, I wasn't filming and a little bit more has happened on that, but not much. So I'm gonna take you with me in a minute. I'm gonna talk through what we're gonna do today. And then this evening and into tomorrow, Sally's coming back for a visit. So you'll no doubt be seeing her and her van and what stage she's got to, because I do believe she's got some wiring in and insulation, very similar to what we've done. And we're gonna look at um, adding a shore power socket for her on her van while she's here. So you'll probably be seeing that in this video as well. But for now, let's take a look at what's happening today. If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is we have put a bit of front on. Now we took quite a bit of time messing around with the timbre door to get this size exactly right. It is low. There's a reason for that. Basically the higher the door was gonna be, because the timbre door comes in and around and along this wall, if it was higher, it had to be smaller because the wall obviously comes in at quite a rate there. So the lower the door, the bigger it could be, meaning the wider it could be here. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, all will become apparent when we're fitting the door and you'll see how it works. So we just had to come up with a compromise. The lower the door would be, the wider it could be, like I've just said, higher it is, the thinner it had to be. So we decided this was a good width. Both John and I can just very simply step, little duck, and we're in. Now then, I have rigged a light up in here to show you. Here you go. Box of screws down there but this is what it's looking like. So first thing for today is, I've obviously got this panel on the back of here. This is very tricky to film in here. I should put it on the ultra wide. I need to cut a small piece to go across there. I need a strip to come right down the side of here. I know this camera won't focus at such close distance. And I need a little bit across the bottom there. Once those are done, oh, hang on. And then I've got to do the ceiling. The ceiling's a bit of a faffy one and I'm gonna have to put some sort of I don't know, I'll figure it out. I've got stuff here I can fix too, and I'll figure it out anyway. It'll all happen as it happens. Once that's done, John and I marked out a hole for the drain. So that has to be there. I would have liked it to be more over here, but there is a big strut, metal strut going underneath the van there, so I can't do it. That's as close as I can get to it. Um, it can't go over that end, because that's where we're gonna have the toilet. So, I mean, it could in some ways. But here, it just makes more sense to me there at the front. So I can also drill that out and then I'll have to router the plywood a little bit so the drain trap, uh, not traps, uh, waste will sink into the floor when we put the top on. Once we have got that hole drilled and the rest of that plywood in, we have here a tanking kit. Now I'll show you more about that when I get it opened up. Now that is basically tape that will tape up all the corners and make them watertight. And then you paint on this blue gloop. And when that goes off, you paint more blue goop and you keep painting blue goop until there's no blue goop left. And then that place is a wet room. It's completely watertight and we can literally just squirt a hose pipe in there and it'll be fine. But then what comes after that is we'll be putting some Altro, I think, I think that's how you, what you call it, altro flooring, like the wet, wet bleh. I'll try that again. The wet room flooring that they use in like old folks homes in uh, big wet rooms. Um, and I'm gonna, I've ordered a piece big enough that I'll also be able to use, well, I'm gonna use it all over here as like an industrial flooring. And then there'll be an off cut, which will be the bathroom floor and it's totally waterproof. And it's just multiple layers of protection then. And then we will have the white PVC like most people use on the walls. I would have liked to get something with a pattern, something that looks like tiles, because it would be pretty. Money's running out. Time's running out, money's running out. That would have been an extra 100 and some 80 quid or something for a panel of that stuff. I don't have it. Don't have the money left anymore. It's all gone. 
So it'd just be a white bathroom, standard white bathroom with a, I think it's a grey floor. Who cares? It's only us who are going to see it. Um, so yeah, I think it's about time that I put you guys on a tripod and I start cutting some bits of wood, screwing them in, we'll get the ceiling in and then we'll get this place membraned up, shall we? Oh yeah, let's go. So, can you see in here? I've done that strip up there in separate little pieces you might have seen. Uh, it was purely just a materials thing. I didn't want to cut into a new sheet of wood. It doesn't matter, it's going to have plastic over it anyway. So we've got it up there as well. It's too tight in here. I, I'm going to start working on this ceiling. So I'm just going to be probably messing about making some little noggins that will come in there to fix to. And then I'm going to have to... don't know yet. I'm going to have to make it up as I go along, as usual. Look who's with us. Hello. We've got an owl. She's come out to enjoy the sunshine and just basically hang out with Dad, haven't you? <laughs> right, let's cut some little bits of wood. camera turned off then for some reason and then you didn't get to see me making that lovely hole. I have since made a few screw holes and I've added this bit of structure to the back of it and I have put some little logging things here so this flows with that and there's no reason why I can't fix this thing straight in now so wish me luck it's been a bit fiddly to make this one and I kind of knew it would be uh, but if this goes in, I'm going to take a little breather. We'll change the battery on the camera and then we're painting after lunch. Mmm. I don't know if this camera angle is doing anything for you. Oh, you can probably see right up my nose there. It's the only way you can get in here with me. When this goes up, it can't come back down again. It's wedged in so tight. <laughs> It'll never, ever come back down. Uh, so... Ooh. These screws I've picked should be good. That'll do. Hello. We're getting some fun angles today, aren't we? Because of having a squeeze in here. Right. I'm going to drill a pilot to see if this is in the right place. What we did uh, last night in the dark, John and I, I'd bought these like fishing magnets and one of us was underneath and the other one above and we figured out that that's a good place. I have now just done a bit of measuring and it turns out there will probably be a little bit better just for underneath. It'll be easier for pipe work. So it's scary because if I'm not right, <laughs> well, what can we do? I am going to drill down, I'm just going to have it done. Uh, 
And we're through. Let's go and have a look what that says underneath, shall we? Not a huge amount of space here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, now that is... Uh, can you even see? It's very dark. No, I want that across. I buy another... About 20 mil. I don't even know if you can see. I might bring a torch down next time. Right, I've just done another quick hole. 20 mil across. Let's see what that's look, like, looking like. I've got a torch for you this time. Okay, under we go. <laughs> there we go. Now that's much better. As you can see, I kind of got it central on that rib, which is what I wanted. Um, and from there, I can uh, use the hole saw and make the size hole that I want. The reason I moved it across was because I'm going to be able to bring my pipe work down and around and under there and that will effectively give me the uh, the u-bend the trap going around there towards the water tank which will be over there this was in the way if i was further over towards the edge so that makes more sense so i might make a minor adjustment there but otherwise no that's probably good right let's go and make the big hole right after a very quick trip to screw fix to get the correct size hole saw I'm ready to make a hole. Let's do it. And there it is. That should fit this nicely. There we go. So I've just got to draw around that and I'm going to router down into the plywood so this will be sunken. So obviously the water will flow in when we squeegee it in. This, by the way, is an extra long one, quite hard to come by. Um, I will put a link down below for this. And if anyone's interested, pretty much everything I use, I put links down below, anything of any consequence anyway. So it's all there, help yourselves. Right, I've just been underneath and deburred the hole a bit and squirted a bit of zinc primer. I'm gonna do it from the top as well. You can never have too much. There we go. Now, I said I was going to put a coat of the uh, blue membrane on today. I am not. I forgot. I've got to put primer all over these walls before I can do that. So maybe the goal of the day is to get the primer on and then that'll do. I've got a few things I need to do this evening and I'm knackered. And Sally's arriving later, so that will probably be it then for a few days. And I'll pick this video up with you in a bit. But anyway, we'll get the primer on first. Not first. <laughs> I've got to route her out first, haven't I? Come on, come on, brain. Perfect, so now that sits absolutely flat flush with that, okay? So then when I put um, the flooring in here that I'll be putting in, that will get, uh, obviously, a hole cut in there. And then when I put this on top, this will pull it down tight and then this should sit lower and it'll be easier to uh, squeegee the water off into that drain. Does that all make sense to you? I hope so. Right, we need John to do a bit of a clean up and then um, we'll get some primer on and that'll be it for today. All right, like I say, we're uh, coming towards the end of the day here. I've actually done the primer. John's been doing a great job of cleaning up, but that is how we are looking in there right now. You can't even see the primer, it's just made the wood look a bit wet. Um, so we won't be doing any kind of tanking until, who knows, like I say, Sally's coming tonight, she'll be around for a couple of days. I might do a couple of coats, we'll see. Uh, While well, she's busy on her van, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen in the next few days, but I will pick up with you at some point. See you shortly. There we go, told you she was coming. For those of you who've been around a while, you'll recognize this van. For all you new subscribers out there, this is Sally's machine. And there's the lady in question. Hello. A little bit shorter than ours, as you can see, but Sally will be on her own in there and she's got big plans for this bus. So it's great. I mean, Otis and SJ just left. Now Sally's rocked up. It's becoming van central around here. I love it. It's become uh, the van life hub for North Yorkshire. <laughs> So you can see where Sally's at. She's been doing lots of wiring and she's been started to get the, uh, the insulation in here and there. There's insulation going in. And uh, we have just been installing her shore power hookup. 
There we go. And she's got the plans on the floor for where beds and things and kitchens are going to be. So yeah, we didn't film doing anything on her van because it's freezing and we weren't going to do anything else today. But I've decided, I've decided, I've got my thermals on and I'm all wrapped up and ready to go. I'm going to get some of this stuff. This is the tape for the uh, damp proof, wet, uh, no, membrane, like wet room membrane in <laughs> of our little shower room here. So I've got to put this around and in all the corners and hopefully it'll go well. So here we are again on this lovely, lovely camera angle. Your favourite, I know. Um, I've got the tape. There's a big patch here that's designed to go over the waste drain there. So I'm going to get on with that. In fact, you meant to cut it, obviously, to go around, but I might leave it as a draft coming in there. Um, what I'll do, I think, is put you guys on a time lapse because this is going to take a little while. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Righty-ho, the camera cuts off on me there, but I've done a little bit more, I'll show you now. I bought extra rolls of that tape because I've seen other people doing it and they always needed to buy more. So I thought I'll preempt that and I bought extra. I bought more than I need. So what I've done is, I have covered the entire floor. Is that the right thing to do? I don't know, what are you asking me for? Haven't got a bloody clue. I've done right up into the corners over there. It's more than enough. I used to fit wet rooms in people's houses like this so don't worry i know this will work fine we used to put a big membrane like this right across the floor one solid piece this is just lots of little pieces put together it does the same job doesn't it it might be a little bit obbly bobbly uh, i'm hoping this paint when we put it on will sort of self-level a little bit but we're going to find that out aren't we really so sally's just gone to get us a cup of tea which is very nice of her and she's happy to sit here and hang about while I get some paint on this. So it's going to happen today, the first layer. Look at all the backing off the uh, tape. Not nice. Yay, cup of tea! Dun, 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 dun. Hey, dudes. Hey, Al. Hey! <laughs> Ella's just getting back from her friend Emily's house. She's been at her art group all day. So I just thought it'd be cool to film and come back on the bike. John picks her up on the, uh, on the electric bike. Hey, Belle Belle, you all right? Have a nice day. Yeah. Bye. Bye then. Bye. That's short and sweet. That's about all I get out of that teenager. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint around the top a little bit first. Then I'll get the camera clipped on the wall so you can watch the rest of the process. folks what do you reckon to that look at it it's blue it's a blue room isn't that awesome so it's gone on so well we're meant to do we're now meant to do a second coat and if there's enough in the bucket i'm going to do extra coats all around the floor and just try and level it up a bit and just as you know belt and braces as many layers as possible 
Then my plastic sheeting that's going to go on the walls has just arrived. That's been delivered. I am then waiting for my ultra flooring stuff, but I can have this thing together probably next week. Yeah. That's it for today. I think we're going to get some takeaway food because uh, Sally's here visiting and the kids are no doubt hungry by now. It's dark. It's pitch black here and uh, we're going to call it quits and I'll see you at some point when I see you next because uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, I've got blue stuff on my hat oh no so folks i have made an executive decision and we're going to end the video right there we're around 20 minute mark and i've got enough footage on this bathroom build to take us to about 50 minutes now what i would rather do than continue editing for the rest of today is because it's a glorious sunny day and we've got rain forecast and possibly even snow next week i want to make the most and i want to get some work done on this van now i know you all like the longer videos we've said it in the comments but i have got to think about myself the kids and getting this thing built plus this also relieves a little bit of pressure for me because this will be the first time since Croatia that I've actually got enough footage ready for next week's video and I don't have to film anything this week if I didn't want to although I will be doing um, so yeah all that remains is to say thank you all so much for watching I do appreciate everything you do all the comments all the likes all the subscribes you guys are fan Fantastic. If you feel the urge, you can jump over and have a look at our Patreon. And thank you again to all the coffee givers out there. It's wonderful. And we will see you next week. Bye-bye.